Uh, after Trump's remarks today, uh, you came out very forcefully. You wrote, uh, the president's sudden acknowledgement is a band-aid on the cancer of anti-Semitism that has infected his own administration. His statement today is a pathetic asterisk of condescension. Make no mistake, the anti-Semitism coming out of this administration is the worst we have ever seen. That is a serious charge. Absolutely. Aaron, time and again, this president has had an opportunity to condemn anti-Semitism. He had a chance to include Jews in Holocaust remembrance. He didn't. He had a chance to speak out against the desecration of Jewish cemeteries this weekend. He didn't. He had a chance to speak out against bomb threats against JCCs, and he didn't. Today, when he was forced, obviously by some staffers, because it came several news cycles after, he finally spoke out. Is our country so lower in its expectations of what to expect from a president that we are supposed to say, congratulations, Mr. President, you recognize anti-Semitism. That's pathetic. Kelly, what, what do you say? He was asked about it directly twice in the past week. And there he, were all these incidents. It wasn't until his daughter tweeted yesterday that he then suddenly, in a prepared speech that he read, said the words. For those wanting to give the president a fair chance, you would have heard him condemn anti-Semitism. I have his exact quote from the first time he was asked, asked this question. He said, I want peace in this country. I want to stop crime and long simmering racism. That sounds like a condemnation to me. But some people on the left are using the veil, the veil of anti-Semitism and the charge of anti-Semitism to further their own political causes. It's dangerous. I agree with Alan Dershowitz fully that we should not be use, loosely throwing this term around. And I, I've got to ask you straight on, so you think the president does not like Jews and is pre prejudiced against Jews. You think that about the president of the United States? You bet. And do you know wow. why? And wow is right, Kaylee. Do you know why? Does he hate his daughter? You, does he hate you know his son? What, Kaylee? You know what, Kaylee? I am tired of commentators like you from the right trotting out his daughter, trotting out his son-in-law as talking points against the president's anti-Semitism. They are Jewish, you, but that is not a talking point against anti-Semitism. And that is a disgrace. Let's, let's dissect have your statement. You, have, you no, Listen, you, have you no ethics than to invoke, a, and to invoke people's religion as a talking point? Let's make this a that dialogue. That itself is okay. anti-Semitic. Let's Go make ahead, this Kim. a dialogue instead of a monologue. Do you think the president dislikes his daughter? Okay. You know, answer the question. You, you know answer, because you said I, he doesn't like you know Jews and his daughter's I'm under no Jewish. obligation to answer a curveball question. Because you can't Be answer the question. Because it's a nonsensical answer. question based on nothing. You know, when he's asked the question, he, he goes off for 20 seconds about his Electoral College victory. Then he mentions racism. Later on, he does say, as for the Jewish people, I have a daughter. Um, does that do it for you? Yes. Stopping crime and long-simmering racism sounds like a condemnation. And Mr. Goldstein... Could not Call answer. Call me could Steven. not answer. No, you Steven, can't answer the question not, as to why. You the, let me finish. You're right, because he let talked about the Electoral College. Steven, let me finish. Thank you, Katie. There is a flaw in your logical reasoning. Oh, you that's you told me the, the first thing you said is the president dislikes Jews. The second thing you said when no, I asked, does Kaylee. he dislike his daughter? You, you know said, what, I don't Kaylee, have to answer Kaylee, that question. That's very nice. There's a flaw that's very in your nice reasoning. for Breitbart News, and you but not using, for CNN. You, you are, are using fake news arguments. Shame on you. You are using Because you just didn't watch what was on there. He responded you, about the electoral isn't it college. True, though, Kaylee, I mean, but putting aside just your immediate yes. discussion here, but it is true that when someone is close to somebody, they can see them differently as they see others. They can see others as another, and they can see a person, well, you are this, but it doesn't matter. When well, it comes, I mean, if you look at what happens throughout history, that's certainly been true with anti-Semitism yes. and many other sure. things. Well, well, he stood next to the Prime Minister of Israel who said, I've known this man my whole life, essentially, Donald Trump, and mm -hmm. he is the greatest defender of the Jewish people I know. And I think it's very sad that we have liberal yeah. commentators, Steve in particular, who is using charges, vile charges, like anti-Semitism oh, oh, and racism, even... with no evidence yeah. behind Kaylee's it. Kaylee's right. The Prime Minister of Israel did say that. I'm he sorry. did say that. Hey, but listen to what Donald Trump said. He's a conservative said. Jewish he leader of Israel. Trump said next to the Prime Minister of Israel. He talked about the Electoral College. We're talking about Donald Trump. We're not talking about Bibi Netanyahu here. When Donald Trump had an opportunity to speak out strongly against anti-Semitism, he's talking about and the Steven, Electoral College. How ridiculous, you, you are, you, you And then you come here and you ask whether, okay. he, whether he likes his own daughter. Daily, you Steven, started, quick, you're doing oh, a God. disservice to your own cause. Oh, because by throwing out farce you. charges oh. of anti-Semitism, you're neglecting the times yes, where there thanks. actually is hate that we need to put a spot on. You know what? Right. And why don't you respond to it instead of responding okay. to the Electoral College?